Hey artists and all viewers, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. So today I'm going to show you how I draw hyper realistic braids, messy hair buns, and things like that using an indenting tool and only one type of pencil. And I made this video very brief and concise, so make sure to watch till the end so you can get a better understanding of how I create each and every minor detail in my portraits. So let's jump right in the video. So I'm going to use these Derwent's graphic pencils for this drawing. You don't need all these different grades of pencils, just grab a single 5 feet pencil and you're good to go. So first of all I'm going to darken this rough outline using this mechanical pencil with HP LEDs. You can use any ordinary pencils for this purpose, I just love drawing with mechanical pencils. So by following the reference image, I'm going to darken all these shadowed portions of the hairs. By the way, I drew this rough outline using grid method and the link of both the reference image and grid reference is available in the description. Also the real time trail is available for patrons and link is in the description as always. So as you can see I'm done with this outline and now I'm gonna use this indenting stylus to add the indentation lines. If you don't know anything about this tool, you can watch this video here in the cards before proceeding further in this one. It's just a simple technique to draw hair and stuff like that using a tool called indenting stylus. And make sure you use the finest and sharpest end of your stylus for this purpose or the cylindrical end in my case. And make sure the lines are parallel to each other and the direction of the lines should be according to the direction of the hairs. You can follow the reference image for this step if you want. Start from both the ends of a single portion and merge the lines together in the middle. Direction of the hairs in each portion is slightly different from the others. So don't fill all the portions with similar indentation lines. Because the one and only drawback of this technique is that you can't erase these indentation lines once you are done with them. So make sure you are following the correct portion from the reference to avoid any mistakes. Again the real time trail is available for patrons and you can find the link in the description. So for this lower portion you can add these random lines in different angles using a slightly thicker stylus than the previous one or the thicker and pointy end in my case. And fill the remaining portion with similar indentation lines. Moving on to the right portion of the head. The overall process is same but you just have to treat every single portion separately because the direction of the hair is slightly different in each one. And you can also add some random lines here in this lower side for individual hairs, only if you like. Okay, now's the time to do some magic. Just grab a 5P pencil and start darkening the portions. First of all, you have to darken the boundary of the portion. Now start adding the darker shade from the right side of each portion.
You just have to fill the shadowed region with a darker shade and the remaining portion with a lighter one. Same is the case for this portion. You can also add some darker and faded strokes in the upper portion to fade the ends of these white lines. Moving on to the third portion. The overall process for each portion is same. You just have to darken the shadowed regions and merge the white lines with the black ones. Make sure the highlight regions of the hair are clear. You can use a sharp tip razor to raise any random marks in the portion before starting the shading process. Okay, now it's time to shade this random hair portion. You just have to leave these random individual hairs as they are and shade the surrounding region with a darker shade. Just like other segments. You just have to shade a little bit precisely in this case. And the remaining segments have the same procedure like we did for the previous ones.
So you may have noticed that it's all about the light and dark shades. You already have this hairy texture through indentation technique and you just have to fill the areas with lighter and darker shades to make the prominent difference between different segments and bunches. Okay, so as you can see the overall look is great, but you can also use a Nanvi pencil to darken some of the shadowed portions if you want some extra contrast in the hair. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this 0.7 mm mechanical pencil and draw these random sharp hairs around the outline. Again, you can use any ordinary sharp tip pencil for this purpose if you don't have a mechanical pencil. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this Tombo Mono Zero Razor and add some highlights in the lighter areas. Actually, the reference I'm using is a mixture of both the black and white dyed hairs. And this portion here has more white hairs than the others. So I'm gonna add some extra highlights to match the reference. Or you can just leave them as they are if you like, it's totally up to you. So here you go. Your hyper realistic hair drawing is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider supporting me on Patreon if you want some extra content every week or even if you want me to keep making this type of useful content on YouTube. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more tips, tricks and BTS content. So thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep drawing and have a nice day.